Hello there everybody, this is James Eldridge from CarTechPhotography.com Hope today is finding you well and in good spirits uh, Recently I have been asked to help a few people with editing um, They've seen some of my work and asked me the questions on how I've done that Now I have absolutely no problem whatsoever in sharing any details with you If there's something you'd like to know in the way I do things or how I think I might go about doing something Hit me up, let me know. I'm always be willing to help. I say, we've been asked by um, a fan of the Facebook page about how I go about processing my images in a film stock look. Now, when I say film stock, I mean old school film camera. Now, I like black and white imagery. It's second to none in my opinion. It takes away any distraction and it makes you focus on the picture at hand. It makes you think long and hard about what the picture is doing and if a black and white image is done correctly it will make you think and it will draw you to exactly what you want it to and it will tell you what the pit the picture will speak to you in a way that is meant to now i'm going to do this tutorial using lightroom 5 now you can do this uh, same effect in pretty much any uh, software that you have as long as you've got a tonal curve uh, layer or button or slider or anything like that in your uh, editing software you should be able to do this now we're using Lightroom 5 and uh, I'm just going to jump straight into it so we have uh, Alicia here who came in to do uh, this headshot project I'm currently taking part in and she came in and she was full of expressions what exactly what I wanted and uh, Within five minutes, she was telling me what to do, which is quite uh, a rarity. I'm normally the one giving the instructions, not the uh, three-year-olds. But she was more than welcome to. She gave me uh, exactly what I needed, along with the parents who also were taking part. They were uh, spot on, to be honest. And uh, we got this great picture. And so what I've just done is I've just brought the um, overall exposure up by a just under a stop. Um, but then I've brought it back down using the white slider. Um, if I took that back to zero, you'll quite you'll see that it can be quite overexposed. So bringing it down to about sixty-ish will kind of cover that. It gives you a nice, nice color on the skin, nice natural light feel there. And uh, I say I bring the blacks up. The blacks on the uh, screen will be quite strong so if you put it all the way down to minus 100 you'll see the effect of what that does but to bring it plus 14 plus whatever it lightens the black shadow and i don't like strong shadows i do and don't but i like to make a soft picture we're just going to bring the clarity up to about 70 odd no probably about 60 yeah and the clarity slider will bring um, the highlight pixels and the shadow pixels and they will merge them and make them brighter and darker at the same time giving you the cool effect of um, a strong black and white image now this works straight off the bat as it is but I need to go one step further and I want to soften the image by doing so we use the tone curve and most software, as I said, should have this. Um, if I don't, you're using the wrong software. <laughs> but on the tone curve, you've got your highlights at the top right corner. In the middle, you'll have your midtones, and then the bottom right corner, sorry, left corner, you will have your shadow curve or your shadow point. By grabbing the bottom left corner and bringing it straight up, you will then control the shadows. Doing so has softened that image just a tad or more than a tad but that's how you go about softening that image I'm just going to add a few extra points on this tone curve just bringing the shadows out a bit or bringing the sh uh, highlights down just a tad and making it all stand out just enough let's bring this down and bring this one down a bit and so that's worked really really well Next thing to do is to add a, uh, I'm just going to pop the sharpen just a tad, probably about 60, yeah, there we go, um, is to add the grain. Now, in Lightroom, it has a slider specifically designed to add the grain to your images. Now, they do 
offer a noise reduction system in Lightroom, which is second to none in my opinion. If you shoot at high, ISO, high ISOs and you want to get rid of green, then obviously noise reduction is your key slider to use. But if you want to add green to an image to give it some depth, give it some body, then the green slider is what you want to use. So we're just going to pump up this to about 20, 25, I think. Yeah, about there. As you can see, it's made the black shadows all around. It's added the texture of the noise. Now I'm going to make that bigger, so about 50, 50, there we are. And you can see that overall it's created this kind of cool, kind of textured, soft, dull look, which I want in my photography. Now, some people might not like it, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for my images, I like it. I think it creates an air of atmosphere regarding the picture. And as I say, it's technically cheating to create the film look. If I wanted to film look, the proper film look, I would go and buy a film camera. But if you don't have the money, you don't have the option, Lightroom 5 or an editing program will do this more than capably enough. So there's my quick tutorial video. I hope I didn't bore you too long. Um, I know my voice is quite mundane, but uh, this was going to be the start of something new. We're going to be doing a weekly tutorials. Uh, we're going to be stepping up a game or stepping up our game, shall we say, here at the uh, studio and seeing what we can do. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the uh, box below. If not, you can always find us on uh, Facebook under Car Tech Photography by James Eldridge or Twitter. Find me on there, just type it in. I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to bore you with the details. Just find us, give us a mention, you know, hit us up. I'll always uh, give anybody the time of day if you're interested in photography. So, peace.